Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are in 13.5 of Anton's 11th edition calculus book uh, for early transcendentals. This is College of the Sequoias. This is the fall 2022 class for calculus three. We are looking at the chain rule for multivariable functions. Uh, and we're looking at with X and Y and R and theta. Uh, so we have a function X and Y and we're looking at R and theta. Notice we have x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. I didn't write them down, but we know r is a function of x. It's the square root of x squared plus y squared. We know theta is a function of y, x and y also. It's tangent inverse of y over x. Uh, so I'm just focusing on doing one part of it right now. Let's find the partial of r with respect to x and the partial of theta with respect to x. Uh, and I didn't do the y's. So let's just start with what we got. X equals R cosine theta, Y equals R sine theta. And we're gonna take our derivatives here. <clears throat> so the part or the derivative of X with respect to X, we we'll just take the derivative of both sides with respect to X. The right side turns into a partial because they're, it's like that. Same thing with over here, we need to do both because they both produce dr dx, or, or derivative of r with respect to x. Uh, just remember, to, uh, it's a product rule. So I've got the derivative of the first, leave the second alone. Uh, then leave the first alone, take the derivative of the second, sine theta, d theta dx is cosine theta. <laughs> Do the same thing with y. Uh, oh, and the partial of x with, or the derivative of x, with respect to x is just one, that's important. The derivative of y with respect to x is just zero. And then we do the partial of x uh, for r and sine theta. We get r, the derivative of r with respect to x times sine theta, plus we do the derivative of the second component, we leave r alone. Sine theta goes to cosine theta, then we take the derivative of theta, so d theta dx. So we've got these two things. Uh, I like that this right one equals zero. What I'm going to do to calculate dr dx, I'm going to solve for d theta dx, plug it in over here, and then I'll just have dr dx. I'll do the same thing when I want to find d theta dx. I will isolate d theta dx by solving it for dr dx. Sorry, I'm going to say this the wrong way. When I want to find d theta dx, I will solve for dr dx, plug that in over here, so I just have d theta dx. <laughs> You'll see. So I solve this one over here. Uh, I subtract over the partial of r with respect to x sine theta. So I've got my negative uh, partial of r with respect to x sine theta on top. I divide by r cosine theta. That's my derivative of theta with respect to x. I am going to take that and I'm going to plug that bad boy in right here. Okay. So I've got one equals dr dx minus or cosine theta minus r sine theta, and then everything just plugged in right there. Uh, so I'm going to try to clean up. Notice the r's cancel. That's kind of nice. R's cancel. The minuses will become a plus. And I've got a dr dx. I've got cosine theta as a denominator here. Uh, I'm the, it's always a good idea to get a common denominator. So I'll do that. That was just me cleaning up right here. I'll multiply this one by cosine theta over cosine theta to get a common denominator. And now I've got the partial of r with respect to x. Uh, notice we got cosine squared plus sine squared on top with cosine theta on bottom. <clears throat> So the partial of r with respect to x is just cosine theta. That's pretty handy. Let's do the same thing. We're gonna, up here we solve for d theta uh, and replace it over there. Now we'll solve for dr and replace it over there to get d theta. Uh, so I do that here. I solve for dr dx. Let me bring it down where you can see it. Uh, so I subtract r cosine theta d theta dx over to the other side, so it's negative, and then I divide through by the coefficient sine theta. I'm going to substitute that into this equation right here. 
I rewrote it down here so you could see it. Uh, we're just making a substitution. And I wrote it all shitty the first time. So I wrote it again the second time. I like them apples. Uh, so we just plugged it in. And notice I've got a sine theta on bottom again. I want to get a common denominator. So I will do that. And I'm factoring out the negative r and the d theta dx. And now I've got cosine squared theta over sine theta plus sine squared theta over sine theta. I've got negative r over sine theta times d theta dx equals one. So d theta dx is negative sine theta over r. You can do something similar to find uh, r and theta with respect to y. Maybe we'll do that in class. That sounds like a good, good thing to do for a warm up. That's it for 13.5. Peace.